Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Far Cry 6 video. Today, I thought it was time to share my ultimate build with you guys, which easily allows you to clear the entire game. You'll be able to one hit kill everything, pretty much from commanders to assault choppers and even tanks. And while you're doing this, you won't even trigger any alarms. I mean, this one is so much fun to use. It's pretty much an assassination build with suppressors and also some EMP, explosives. I pretty much used this one since day one and did some tweaks and upgrades along the way. But right now, we are still pretty much playing with exactly the same stuff, which I originally started with. And man, I just am so excited to share it with you. So let's get right to it. All right, so here we are in one of the base camps. Let's check out my arsenal right away. So this is an assassination build which heavily relies on suppression and of course taking down enemies with brutal damage, one hit killing them pretty much. You are a little bit squishy with this gear, but at the same time, this really doesn't matter because you will be able to take down enemies before they even see you coming. And the main power in this build is coming from the MS-16L. This is probably my favorite weapon in the entire game. Started with the MS-16S, you can already see my build in the top right of the screen which I previously used but we made some tweaks and upgrades along the way and right now it is so deadly overpowered pretty much so let's check out this first one so um, if you have the right attachment this bad boy is so much fun I mean we're talking about the rounds that hold straight lines and penetrate helmets and body armor this pretty much allows you to one hit kill any enemy in the game not of course for the vehicles but we're gonna get to that later and yeah it is just so much fun popping those headshots 24-7 and this even reduces the cooldown of our Supremo, and I'm going to get to that pretty soon as well. Next up, we have a large cylindrical suppressor. And this one greatly reduces weapon noise, slightly impairs the range, but is quick to overheat. And this is because we want to mainly focus on hitting those enemies. Just headshotting them from afar or from nearby doesn't really matter. And you only need one shot for every single enemy if you do it right. So the overheat really is not a big deal right here. You want to have enough range on this bad boy so you can use it as a sniper. And that brings us to our next attachment. So we have an ACOG 4 times mid-range optic with a precision target. And this one allows you to aim so precisely even at very long range. If you hold your breath, you can always hit your target really. But um, if you combine this with a very nice set of gloves guys this is going to be so overpowered we're talking about the marksman gloves right here these improve weapon sway and guys i really want to show you right now how overpowered these bad boys are so i'm just gonna quickly unequip these so uh, let me just get to my weapon right here so um if we hold and look at that satellite dish right there you can see the sway right so um there is a pretty decent weapon sway but uh, if we hold our breath of course um this pretty much eliminates everything Right now, I'm going to equip the gloves and you'll be able to see what this does. I mean, if we look at the satellite like dish right now, we have exactly the same effects which we had when holding our breath. I mean, right now, this thing barely moves. It is so powerful. If we hold our breath, this will simply just eliminate this weapon sway entirely. You but you doing? don't even need it. Maybe only for very long range shots. So that's already the most important things for the MS-16L, but of course we have some extra mods. So um, let's check them out right here. So first off, we have the Magic Fingers. This one improves the speed of replacing a partially used mag. If you saw some of my gameplay, you know that I'm constantly replacing my magazine to always have enough bullets for the next confrontation. But you could also go with something else, like uh, the Keep It Cool. I think this one is pretty nice to improve the cooling rate of your suppressor. You could also go with uh, the trigger discipline to improve your aimed weapon damage. But this, my friends, isn't really necessary as you will already be able to one hit kill all those enemies if you headshot them. Next up, we use the Headshot Supremo. And this one rewards bonus Supremo charge, pretty much reducing the cooldown time between the next use of your Rocket Launcher Salvo if you're also going with um, this one right here, guys. Oh man, this is so much fun. The Exterminador. I just kept using this one. We have all the others as well, but um, I think this one is still the most powerful. Let's uh, check it out right now, by the way, because uh, we have some pretty interesting stuff right here as well. I really like to work with the C4 because it is extremely useful to take down those um, anti-aircraft uh, gunners and then of course also some dynamite so we can deal with pretty much any situation if you want to play with some explosives then also a uh, throwing axe and um, some healing syringes so I'll be able to heal myself while my main heal is on cooldown pretty much but then we also have some very interesting things right here. Slightly improved soft target round defense. I mean, this is the ammo which is commonly used uh, with the enemies. 
You could also go with something like stealth material to reduce your movement noise or maybe even um, increase your capacity of carrying grenades, dynamites and pipe bombs. This is all really up to you. You could also take the, the armor piercing. This really depends on your playstyle, but in general, the defense against soft target is really nice. Then next up, we're also going with Sharpshooter. Headshot kills reward bonus Supremo charge once again. So right now we're doubling this effect pretty much. So you will have your Supremo ready in no time if you're doing those headshots. I think it is so much fun to constantly pop those heads and go for some new rocket solvos. Then we also have the Artillery Supremacy to improve the Supremo damage. Obviously, this is the one and only one to go for, but um, let's get to the other weapons as well. So my other primary weapon, this one is pretty much for short range. The MS-16L is for mid and long range. You can also use it for short range, but this bad boy definitely shreds enemies to pieces if you're using it efficiently. So first off, we have the poison rounds right here, but you can pretty much go with whatever floats your boat. I mean, you could also go with the soft targets round. I think these are also very interesting because most of the times you will find those unarmored enemies. The further you progress in the game, you will find more and more armored enemies, but there aren't so many of them. So um, this is already pretty good, but um, most importantly, you want to go with a suppressor once again. This one slightly reduces the weapon noise, greatly impairs the range, but of course we will only use this one for short range so we really want to have that slow to overheat then i'm also working with the iron sights i mean you can also go with a sight right here but i think the iron sights are really cool if you use this weapon for short range i mean you only want to have some basic things going on right you even most of the times use your hip fire you don't even aim down the sight so this is going to be just fine it won't take up any unnecessary space in your screen then to greatly reduce the bullet spread when firing from the hip, because that is exactly what we're going to do, we're going to take the Resolver Laser Pointer MK2. This is pretty much the final one, which you can unlock the most powerful one as well. For the mods, once again, pretty interesting. So for this time, we're going to go for improved body shot weapon damage, because of course, you're going to just spray bullets in the bodies of the enemies. This one speaks for itself. Next up, we also have the improved magazine size. I mean, normally the MP7 only has 30 bullets. Right now it has 40, so I think this is definitely a very useful one to get your hands on. And then last but not least, I also have the trigger discipline. But I already said that you can use your hip fire, right? That is correct. But if you just aim down the side with this bad boy, it doesn't take much time, guys. You just right click or do whatever on your console. You will be able to take down enemies even faster. I mean, if you have the time for it, go for it. Especially against some armor targets, this can make a difference. Right now, on to my third weapon. And boy, oh boy, am I having fun with this one. I mean, this is just a recurve bow. Tier 2, so nothing too fancy, but um, this one is actually a little bit better in comparison with this one because uh, the compound bow is actually slightly slower. Anyways, this bad boy is pretty much our main weapon to deal with tanks, choppers and other kinds of vehicles because it literally allows you to one-shot them. I mean, I already made a video which I'm gonna post in the top right of the screen which shows exactly how powerful this thing is. And that's all because of the EMP arrows. Disables vehicles and electronic security devices with just one arrow, guys. You can literally take down choppers, disable tanks, and then hijack them for yourself. You can just take the advantage in the battle. I think this is so much fun and extremely powerful to use. Hands down, one of the most OP things in the game, if you ask me. And then also a crosshair sight. This mod simply allows you to see more of the enemy this is no rocket science, guys. It's just a sight, but um, it definitely works very well. Then I also have the improved draw and holster speed for this weapon because, yeah, you can't really choose anything interesting right here. Something with the healing or um, also go for headshot kills, reward supremo charge. But we don't really want to focus on headshots with this one. We mainly want to go with just the EMP arrows and take down those vehicles if we need them because, because we already have this one for short range. And um, then, of course, we have this one for mid and long range and man oh man this one just feels so good before we get to the armor i also have a final weapon i'm going with a pistol right here with once again a suppressor i am not really sure if i want to showcase this one entirely because most of the times you won't even need it but uh, we have some standard rounds right here you can always upgrade these large rectangular suppressor because of course we don't really need the long range and it's slow to overheat so that's perfect and then also a micro reflex sight. I think most sights in this game look really bad and they also take up so much space in your screen, make it extremely annoying. 
to um, actually focus on different targets. But uh, this one actually works very well and is really fun to pop headshots with as well. So this one, once again, also makes your Supremo charge up a little bit faster. Improved aimed weapon damage always because I always aim down a sight with a pistol. Then also a improved run hustle speed to make it even faster and improved movement speed while aiming. All the other options aren't very interesting, so I think this is your best bet. Okay, so now onto the armor and this is pretty much where the assassination fun continues. First off, we have the Marksman's Goggles. This one has a headshot kills refund the round perk, which in my opinion is so powerful, especially if you constantly land those shots in the head. And that is exactly what you're going to focus on with this build. I mean, if we look at um, our MS-16L right here, it already has 15 bullets in one magazine. So uh, if we shoot this bad boy, it takes a pretty long time before you empty the clip. The reloading is already pretty fast, but if you just shoot something in the head, well, these are allies, so um, it didn't count, but um, otherwise you don't even have to reload everything, so I think this is extremely powerful. And uh, now these bad boys are a little bit angry, I think, so uh, let's just uh, take him down as well. But uh, you get the point, headshotting enemies is so rewarding with this piece of armor. Next up, to make those headshots a little bit easier, we already talked about it, the marksman gloves to improve your weapon sway, showed you everything you need to know about it already. But then also for my chest armor, I have this stealth material, reduces the movement noise. And first off, I think this is one of the coolest pieces of armor in the game. You find it pretty early as well, but um, with the reduced movement noise, you will be able to sneak through enemy lines without a problem. Then I also use the parkour rush to greatly improve my movement speed after sliding. I can literally run like a motorcycle on the highway if I want to or dash in and out of combat without a problem. I think this one is so much fun and everybody should check it out. I mean, doing long distances, especially on hills, can be very tedious in this game. But if you go with parkour rush, ah man, this is gonna be so much fun. Of course, you could also go with something more assassin mode. For example, a dark tech pants to reduce your movement noise even further. And yeah, you also have some defensive things like uh, the rioter pants to greatly improve your armor piercing rounds. But I think the movement speed is so much better. So much more fun to use. So uh, let's get on to the next one. These are my revolutionary boots. They improve my movement speed after taking damage. So this further improves my movement speed. If you are in combat, you will be so fast. You are literally lightning on the battlefield, guys. It is very powerful to combine this one with um, the parkour shorts. But yeah, once again, if you want to go with something else, that is entirely possible. Another bonus head slot I think is going to be extremely useful for taking down forts in the dark is going to be Ida's Sigil. This one has a night sight perk built in which allows you to highlight allies, soldiers and also enemies at night. So if you have this one equipped, you will see pretty much anything around you. So it can be extremely useful for both hunting for animals and also clearing out camps. Revolutionary Barrett also has improved headshot damage, but you don't really need it. As I already said, you can already want to kill everything with the MS-16L. So we're just going to stick with the Marksman goggles to constantly get those bullets back if we shoot something through the head. All right, so guys, there you have it. My ultimate build for Far Cry 6. I think this one is so much fun to use for any situation, pretty much for the hunting, for dealing with choppers, tanks, also clearing out camps or just free roaming in general. I mean, you're going to do a lot of stuff on foot. I think it is very annoying to always call in your car for some short distance travel. So running around like a flipping ninja, in my opinion, is the most fun. Guys, big thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, if you found it useful, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out big time. And of course, other people who want to check out this build. But seriously, if you are new to the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. It is entirely free and I am making a lot more Far Cry 6 videos. I really enjoy this game and I'm definitely going to do some more live streams. I'll see you guys very soon with some fresh new content. Right now, though, it's 4 am out. Till next time, take care.